Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek. Definitely glad you're here. I was meaning to make this video yesterday, but I didn't because I'm lazy and I went to sleep early because I'm an old man and that's what I do. I take my meds and I go to sleep. That's what I do. Then I get up, go to work around, you know, crack of dawn. And, you know, I, I've been thinking about this, making this video all day long, actually, um, which is pretty cool. So, one of the things I wanted to talk about was the Nintendo Direct from yesterday. You know, I'm pretty excited whenever there's a new Nintendo Direct, because we don't really get them that often, but when we do, it's usually pretty good. You know, sometimes they don't hit the mark on what gamers really want, but they also come out with some surprises that kind of shock people, to be honest with you. And I kind of feel like this Nintendo Direct was kind of right in the middle there. There was a lot of cool games that they showed off. A lot of stuff that, you know, I'm looking forward to. And you know, here's the thing about Nintendo. Nintendo puts fun above everything else. You know, it doesn't matter what the game looks like. Pokemon Arceus looks like ass. But the gameplay is so damn good. It's so good. So good. Play, play Pokemon Arceus. Just do it. And that's what I feel about a lot of Nintendo throughout the history, is they've never really competed with other consoles. I'm sure they tried to, maybe during the GameCube play N64 era, but they kind of do their own thing, honestly. And, you know, some, some things are successful, some things aren't. Take a look at the Wii U, then take a look at the Switch. Same thing goes with the Nintendo Wii. It, it's great. Um, Nintendo puts fun above everything else. And that's what I like about Nintendo is, you know, the quality. When you get a Nintendo game, uh, you know, a published Nintendo game that's published by Nintendo, you know what you're going to get most of the time. You're going to get an extremely polished, fun game. And that's kind of what I see here. Uh, a lot of stuff people moaned at, groaned at, especially the Dreamcast guy, which we'll talk about it here in a few minutes. I hate to bring up Dreamcast guy. But I have a feeling I'm going to have to bring up Dreamcast Guy. I know I am. Yeah, it's premeditated. It's going to happen. But anyways, they shoot off a bunch of really cool games. Some of the highlights for me, though, like, you know, the Klonoa Collection, which I don't know if that's going to be on multi-platform, but I want to buy it on the Switch because I love the Klonoa games. I always wanted to buy them. I do have on PlayStation 3 the, I think it's the first game. It's on... Uh, you know, PlayStation Classics. But they're remaking the first two Klonoa games. It's coming on the Switch. I don't know if it's coming on anything else, but it's coming on the Switch and they've shown it and I'm going to play it. Uh, would they shown off Advanced Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp? I think that's what it's called. Uh, I played Advanced Wars back... Shit, man. I was in... Just in... Right in high school, I believe, when it started. Like, Game Boy Advance, I believe, was when it first... Advanced Wars game came out, and I actually played it, and, you know, I had a lot of fun of it, what I can remember. There hasn't been a Advanced Wars game in a long time, and it's kind of cool to see this game coming back. I mean, I'm hoping maybe if this game sells well enough, you know, they can continue the series. So I'm pretty excited about that. So that's two things. Another thing, which is a Square thing, it's not Cap. I don't know why I thought Capcom, but Square Enix is doing a remaster of Chrono Cross. Now, I've always wanted to play through Chrono Cross. I, you know, I finally played through Chrono Trigger just last year. I never played through it. And I finally did. And I missed out on that whenever I was younger. I wish I would have played that when I was younger. You know, the first RPG I ever played was Final Fantasy VII. That I remember. I, I don't know if I played anything prior to that. I, before, when my gamersness gamerness evolved i guess you know final fantasy 7 was one of the games that made me into a gamer and that's had me into rpgs but they're doing a remake not remake but remaster of chrono cross in the same vein as how they did with their previous final fantasy titles and i'm pretty excited about it and it also comes with a text-based chrono cross game that's was never translated in English, I don't think, or moved to the States, and it's coming along with it. You know, they have two, uh, f the Front Mission games are getting remasters or remakes, one or two coming out in the summer. Some of the big titles that they did announce, you know, they started out with a 
uh, what what is it called? Shit. And I just had it. I just had it in my head. It'll come back to me later. It, it was a Dynasty Warriors style game, and I can't think of the name of the fucking game. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't think of it. Never mind. We'll get to it. You guys know what I'm talking about, obviously. I never got into those games. It's Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. I Right to the tip of my tongue. I never got into Fire Emblem, but I do like the, uh, the Heroes games, like how they did with Hyrule Heroes and the Calamity and uh, it's it's Dynasty Warriors style games, which is pretty cool. I like that. Um, they shown off, and this is a series I really want to get into. Was Xenoblade Chronicles Three? You know, I need to go back and play those games. They're big though. That's that's my problem, man. Like I have a problem lately with long ass games, and I never used to be like that. But for some odd reason, I just want to play a game and not invest a lot into it. But I want to play these games. I want to go back and play the Xenoblade games. Um, I need to. It just needs to happen. But that looked pretty good. Let's see, what else should we get? Mario Strikers. If we haven't talked about that already, that is a sports Mario game soccer game. It actually looks pretty cool. Uh, one of the really neat things about this game, which uh, is when you do the special moves, it switches to a different art style. Now, I don't know if that was something that was already in the original series but i thought it was really cool because it kind of looked like dragon ball heroes is it heroes fighter z um just just the art style like if you ever play, watch somebody play fighter z it's kind of got that animation uh art style to it and you know that looks pretty cool uh they uh, a new wii sports no switch sports now i guess or it's nintendo sports uh, that's pretty cool. I liked Wii Sports when it came out. Uh, you know, we'd have nights when the Wii came out. You know, we my friends. We went to each other's house, playing bowling, baseball, golf, uh, pop boxing. And it doesn't look like there's some games that's not in there, obviously. But the ones I'm really interested in was the golf as well as the bowling, which pretty cool with that. I don't know how f how the updates are going to be i know they said there's going to be a free update with golf so there's that they shown off another kart racer which i don't really give a shit about it's a free to play uh pixar uh disney um mario kart style game it it looked like it looked like mario kart with disney characters it was free to play and you know it's going to be one of those gotcha games and you know Paying a lot of money on skins and characters. Yeah, I don't really care about that. That's something I didn't really care about. The Klonoa thing was really cool. Um, let's see what else. I'm trying to think what else there was that was big. I know there's a lot of stuff that I missed. They shown off a lot of indie titles. Um, the Kirby. The Kirby, the big Kirby adventure game. That looks pretty good. It has this really cool uh, ability called Big Mouth Mode or Wide Mouth Mode or... Oh my god, I fit that whole thing in my mouth mode? That looks pretty cool, actually. I I might have to play that game. It, <laughs> it looks pretty cool. I'm um, not going to lie. Uh, we also seen that No Man's Sky is coming out on the Switch. Which is pretty cool. And they're also bringing out the Wii version of Star Wars The Force Unleashed to the Switch. Which is kind of neat. Because apparently... The Wii version is way different than the Xbox and PlayStation 3 versions of that game. I guess it was two different studios that worked on this, and they're entirely different. So that might be something I might pick up. I don't know. Maybe. My biggest thing was, and I like this, and I've seen a lot of people pissed off about it. I don't really give a fuck because it's cool. So the, Nintendo does DLC pretty well, I like to think. Um... You know, you get a lot of content, to me, to me, to me, this is my opinion, you might think I'm wrong, but my opinion, I believe Nintendo does DLC pretty well for the most part, and everybody was wanting Mario Kart 9, which yeah, is cool, Mario Kart 9 would have been awesome to have, but they announced 48 tracks, remade tracks for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. 
Now you're probably wondering how much this is going to cost. You know, I remember back in the day, you know, you spend 15, 20 bucks for five maps on Call of Duty. Nintendo's like, we're going to give you 48 maps for $25. Or if you have the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pass, you get that for free. Now, I've seen a lot of people's like, man, that sucks. But for the price of a new game, and I know this isn't a new game, and Mario Kart 8's been out for a long time, but it sells really well, and there's nothing wrong with the game, and adding these new these new maps, and yeah, it's only going to make it even better. It's just icing on the cake. Um, you know, I liked it. I like it. Now, one of the people I've seen talk shit about this, and it was pretty much like... Uh, I don't know why he got pissed off at this, but Dreamcast Guy. Now, I've made videos about Dreamcast Guy, and I also defended Dreamcast Guy uh, from, uh, I think it was Afro Gamer Guy. And, you know, I, I still like I still like him. Again, he is kind of ignorant, for the most part, when it comes to most games. Well, most things <laughs> I'm coming to find out. I've been watching a lot of Griffin Gaming. And, you know, I'm not the best YouTuber in the world. I know that. I've been doing YouTube videos since 2016, and I only have 400 some followers, and maybe my videos get maybe five or six views. So I, I have no say in this, but I do want to talk about it. You know, he got a really bad, said it was a shit show, a garbage fire, and just made a fuss about... It was a bad deal, but I don't see how it's a bad deal. I understand you have your opinions, but on all the previous consoles, you see them remastering older games and just resell them for 60 bucks all the time. You see this all the time. I mean, it's even clearly evident with the Nintendo Direct. You know, repackaging old games. And... You know, to support a game that's been out for almost a decade, you know, that's pretty ballsy, honestly. Um, you know, if it's not broke, you know, they'll fix it. You know, that's why the Pokemon games have always been kind of, They had these small little things they added to the games, but mostly they was the same, but they sold. And I know that sounds lazy, but 48, 48 tracks for $25. To an already great game. You already know what you got. And, you know, you're probably not going to play all 48 of these maps. But it's there. It's there. It's pretty cool. It's cheap. It's it's cheap. You know, I mean, if you're going to buy a Fortnite skin for $20, why not spend $20 or $25 and get 48 maps? That's how I see it. Nintendo's pretty good with DLC. I'm not going to lie. Now, when we talk about microtransactions on mobile shit, uh, no. No, we we don't talk about that. And, you know, I already said that if you do play mobile games, you, you're a gamer. You're just... But anyways, you know, there's a lot of cool things. Uh, Dreamcast guy doesn't know what the hell he's talking about after time. Um, and I, you know, I don't know if I want to continue bashing him because it's not fun. Uh, but anyways, guys, I would like to know what you guys think about the Nintendo Direct. Would love to hear about it. What you thought. What some of the big surprises came out for you. Oh, shit! Earthbound! Fuck, man! Earthbound! Earthbound's coming to uh, the Super Nintendo eShop thingy. So if you if you like Earthbound, there you go. Ooh. There we go. That's it. That's the end. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it. Hit that follow button and I'll see you soon.